Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how you make sound effects in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure that this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you've not already. If you do not have the application just go to the App Store and download it and after opening it up you'll be greeted by this main page right here which is the home page where you can find all the instruments you can play you can open up the audio recorder and so on so let's go ahead and see how to get started with making sound effects that you want in GarageBand. The first thing I'm going to do is open up the audio recorder right here option that's going to open up this new recording menu. So what you can do is get started recording by clicking the big red circle at the top of the screen and this is going to start recording your microphone and you can either sing, play an instrument, do whatever you want. So let's go ahead and click this recording process. As you can see, it's going to start. I'm going to finish it after I'm satisfied and now it's going to open up this new menu where I can get started with adding sound effects. So as you can see guys, we have all the sound effects we can use like the monster effect we had the sci-fi the extreme tuning then you can manage your pitch isolation and pitch control and so on as you can see right here so you have a multitude of options that you can try right here if you're not satisfied and you want even more options what you can do is go right here in the upper left corner at the top of the screen and click on the sliders option this is going to open up the track settings where if you scroll down you can find you have your plugins and equalizers master effects and so on all the options that you can use for adding effects to your music is right here so you can go ahead and get the desired effect by choosing out and playing around with options but yeah guys basically that is it how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thanks for watching take care and bye